from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I have to tell you something that uh, that happened to me, and I think it's fascinating. By the way, sometimes things happened a long time ago, and I... Remember them, they suddenly hit me in the head. Sometimes they happen right before the show. Does it really matter when it happened? Not really. All right, so there's this chick. This true story. There's this chick, and uh, she can't get over the fact that uh, I'm a very busy boy. Now, what am I busy doing besides the usual uh, nonsense? What am I busy doing? I travel for work. I travel on vacation. I have dinner, lunch, occasionally a breakfast with clients, management people, media people. I do interviews with people. I was interviewed the other day by the BBC, for example, and it already aired on the BBC. 10 o'clock news in England. I mean, there's always something going on. Plus, you add in my hockey schedule. And um, I also do a variety of appearances for which I'm paid. And you don't think I make these appearances for free, do you? It's my job, and I get paid for them. So when somebody says, you know, Tom Likas is uh, going to be having a party at a suite at a, at a hockey game, well... There's a big check going to the Tom Likas Foundation, and uh, that's for underprivileged Hollywood Hills residents. Need to upgrade their jacuzzis. Uh, you don't think I, I go and do these things for nothing, do you? So, um, of course, when I'm on the radio, I don't come on the air and say to you, I'm just being honest with you, I don't come on the air and say, hey guys, I'm getting paid to make an appearance this week, and I want you all to show up. Because that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. But um, when I make an appearance on the radio, it's... Because, let's face it. Let's take the DJ at a dance club. The DJ at a dance club is creating that atmosphere that you get at a dance club. The thumping, drinking, humping, pickup line vibe of a dance club. When you go in there, there's lights, there's strobes, there's booze, there's music, it's thumping, there's videos, right? Uh, people on the dance floor. Everybody's having a good time, right? Well, let me tell you the people who are working. The bartenders, the waitresses, the DJ. The DJ looks like he's having a good time up there, but the DJ has to figure out what songs... To play? In what order? What songs to segue together so you don't lose the beat? He busted his ass up there. I appreciate all the club DJs out there because I've done it and I know how hard that job is. But there's a lot of people who think the DJ's at a party. Well, he's at a party, but he's working. And he's no more at that party than the person is who's getting you your gin and tonic. Your Long Island Ice tea. He's working. So when I make an appearance and I say it's going to be a party, well, it is a party for you. <laughs> but there's many people who know me and they don't listen to the show. 
but they're not paying attention. Or if they listen to the show, they take it completely seriously 100% of the time. Sometimes I say things that are ironic. Sometimes I say things that are obviously preposterous. And, of course, when I'm promoting an appearance, I'm telling you what a party we're going to be having. And, and the fact is that everybody there is going to be having a party, but there's one guy. Actually, there's about five guys who are going to be there who are actually working. I'm one of them. Gary's another one. We got Elvis. Sometimes we got uh, Scott Ramsey with us. I mean, you never know. Point is, there's about four or five guys who are working while you're partying. But I've actually known people, especially women who know me, who tell me, you're always at the Playboy Mansion partying. You're always partying. This is what you're doing. The reason you don't have time to see me is because you're out there partying all the time. I heard you on the radio. I heard you saying on the radio that you were out there partying with you, Hafner. You're partying. Now, think hard about that, okay? Because I'm doing a radio show. I am interviewing Hugh Hafner at the Playboy Mansion, which means I'm looking at a clock. I'm figuring out how long to do the interview, how, how many questions to ask in a segment, trying to follow what he's saying, trying to keep my eye on the time, watching the phones, figuring out how many phone calls to take, trying to ask the right questions. It's a party for the people who are watching the naked chicks in the grotto and walking around with drinks in their hands and corn dogs, whatever they're doing. But, but the reality is I'm working. That's what I'm doing. Doesn't mean I don't like to party or that I don't party. It means the last partying you should be talking about with me is the partying I promote on the air. Because that partying is for the listener. And me and my crew, we work. We're working. Maybe we party afterwards. Maybe we don't. That's just the way it is. But the bottom line is this. I've been very honest with you. Some of you get pissed off about it. I make a seven-figure income. But let me tell you something. Everybody works for that money. And you know what? Let's take people who make a lot more than I do. Oprah. Letterman. Leno. You think these people don't work their ass off? Example, Jay Leto does a show five nights a week on the sixth night on Sunday nights. He does a live appearance nowhere near his home in Hermosa Beach at a comedy club where he breaks in new material for the following week's Tonight Show. How many of you would be willing after you work your five day week to go work on Sunday night too? Now, you might say to yourself, Jay Leno has $100 million. Why is Jay Leno doing this? Because that's how he became Jay Leno, because he busts his ass. Busts his ass. I have met Jay Leno, and there's an example of somebody who, it doesn't matter how much money he makes, he works harder than anybody, and that's how he became who he is. So you know what? He's a busy guy. And getting time with him, not easy, because he's working all the time. He's working on writing jokes. He doesn't, by the way, he doesn't ask people to, 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 to sell him jokes. And then he goes on The Tonight Show and reads other people's material. He sits there with a group of writers. They all work on the material together every day. So you may think, well, you know, he comes in, he puts a suit on, he, uh, he talks for an hour, he chants with Tom Cruise, and then he bolts. <laughs> Nothing can be further from the truth. Now, I, I'm not really that close to Jay Leno. I met him once. Actually, I met him twice, spent some time with him once. But I'm a professional broadcaster. I know what it takes to be him. I know how much work he has to do to get the money he gets paid. He's worth every dime he gets. Frankly, I think he's worth more. Letterman, same thing. Oprah, absolutely the same thing. And uh, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, when you're in broadcasting, people hear you uh, on, the, on the radio for four hours or five hours or three hours or they see you on TV for an hour. And, and, and people have this tendency to think that's the only thing you do. And the rest of the day, you're uh, driving around your Maserati and uh, shopping for handbags or, uh, 
you know, or a new Maserati or something like that. It doesn't work that way. And I think this largely has to do with people who are used to being around losers. Okay, because losers are dreamers. You know, they dream of doing things they're never actually going to get up off their ass and do. And the truth has to be told. Which brings me back to why I got into this conversation in the first place. There was a chick who I said, you know, let's get together. And she said, when? So I gave her a choice of days. I actually looked at the calendar, and I said, okay, I got, and I named the days. I got Thursday, I got Sunday, I got Tuesday, something like that. And at first, she was about to pick one of the days. Then she told me that, uh, she tried to tell me that she was not available on weekdays, you know, tried to uh, do a power play and force me into seeing her on the weekend. And then finally, the the final straw came when she uh, told me, get this, I don't want to date anybody I have to make an appointment to see. Now let's talk about this for a second. Number one, a date is an appointment. Let's start with that. I mean, when you're dating people, do you just show up at their house any old time you feel like it? I was in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop in for a date. It doesn't work that way. I mean, if you go, let's say you're just going on the, the, the stereotypical date, right? You're going to a restaurant. It's Friday night. It's 8 o'clock at a certain restaurant. Somebody's going to pick somebody up or you're going to meet at the restaurant. You have made an appointment. My only problem here was that I was specific and I said, okay, I'm working. So here are the available days. Pick a day. <laughs> pick a day. She didn't want to pick a day. She wanted to go any night she wanted to. And that's it. And, and, like my whole schedule is wide open. Anytime. I'm just waiting for the queen to give her, you know, her order and then I will show up. Let me just say to women like you, you must have been around a lot of losers in your time because a loser has time every night of the week. You know why? Because he doesn't do a goddamn thing. You must date losers because a loser is available anytime you want him. I mean, all he has to do is put the joint down throw on some cologne and run out the door to you. <laughs> That's all he has to do. I am a gainfully employed, successful individual, a multimillionaire. You bet there's a lot of nights that are blacked out of my calendar because I've got stuff to do. Are you telling me that in order to date me, you have to have your choice of any night of the week, any week of the month, any month of the year, any year of the decade? Are you telling me that I'm just supposed to clear the decks and wait for you to tell me when you're interested in seeing me? That is never going to happen. Never. Never. You see, people who, who are successful, people who make a lot of money, they've got obligations, business to do. Dinners to have, lunches to have, meetings. In my case, as a public figure, I make appearances. And I travel a lot. You know, what kind of person is available anytime you want them to be available? Losers. I, I, I was flabbergasted when I heard this comment. <laughs> I don't want to date anyone I have to see. I have to have an appointment to see. What are you, a stalker? That's what stalkers do. <laughs> stalkers show up whenever they feel like it. Usually to see if you're dating somebody else. I mean, are there people you don't have to make an appointment to see? 
do you just drop in unannounced? Is, is it like the TV show Friends or Seinfeld? You just leave your door unlocked and people just pop in the front door and plop down on your couch? You ever notice that about sitcoms? Nobody ever locks their front door, ever. And there's always wacky people who just open the door and walk right in. Are you that kind of person? Do you think that, that my life should be like that, where I'm just available to you anytime you want me? You just pop right in? What would that say about me if I was available all the time? I mean, I would be a complete loser. Am I wrong about this? Tom like it. 1-800-5800. Tom. I need my balls reattached, Tom. The Tom Likas Show. Tom, that's our telephone number. Yeah. She told me that she didn't want to date somebody she had to make an appointment to see. Hey. Who is having dates with people that are not on the calendar? <laughs> I, that used to be called a booty call. Hey, are you here? I know we don't have an appointment, but uh, I don't want to date anybody who requires an appointment. Hey, let me in. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Come on. I'm here for a date. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Austin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. First time, long time, Tom. Great to talk to you. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I'm sure you're sure it is. The, the seven-figure income proves it. Right. The way that I see it, sir, I think you may have been caught in one sort of semantical debate or another. I don't think she's literally saying, I don't want to date anyone I want to make an appointment with. What she's actually saying is, I, I don't want options. I'm a woman. I want to feel like everything's been guessed for and taken care of for me. So if you'd said to her... Let's go out Wednesday night as opposed to I have Wednesday, Sunday, and Friday open. It would be a non-issue. I didn't say what days I had available until I suggested a weeknight. I see. And I then see. she put up the uh, the old I'm not available weeknights. I don't know what book it was. The Rules, one of those chick books uh, that recommend that women say they're not available weeknights only on weekends. Like if. If you talk to a chick and you go, well, here are three restaurants that I like. Which one would you like to go to? It, it doesn't turn them on as much as saying, well, I like res I have reservations here and I'll pick you up at 7. They want to think that everything's taken care of. Ah, but, you, but that's the thing. In my case, I, I took care of it. I said, what about Thursday? Uh -huh. And she said, not available weeknights. So that, then I'm at the point where I'm saying, okay, um, here are the available days. <laughs> right, right, because you, you've been you've been affronted now. You've offered, and she said no. So right. I think at that point, I would just I I, I would move on. Oh, I, I have moved say. on. Oh no, yeah. I have. <laughs> are oh, you kidding me? Yeah. No, I, that's the end. That's the end of the negotiating right there. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. All right, well, can you take me out Kobe style? TMW. You know what TMW is, right? Uh, no. Too much work. <laughs> no, I've been there, man. I'm done with too much work. No, it's not the men's warehouse. Come on. No, it's too much work. No, I, I make six figures myself, and the way I look at it, it's like, look, they should be lined up. They should be waiting for me. I'm not going to play this game. I'm going to tell you what's going on, and either you're into it or you're not. Right. I'm not going to put on a front. I'm not going to pretend. Take it or leave it. Not... My way or the highway. Exactly. Couldn't agree more, buddy. All right. Thank you, Austin. Appreciate the call. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Here comes Karen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Nice to talk to you. How are you? Doing great. Great. Um, I just want to know why it, it shouldn't even be an issue. I think that whether you have one day uh, available or every day available, they should respect your time. And I think that if you were busy, she should have respected that. There was no reason for her to get upset. Um, I have a boyfriend that I've been dating for 
four years now, and we still make dates. I mean, it's just, and I never get offended if he has something to do or, you know, vice versa. Vice versa. So I just don't understand what's wrong with her in the first place. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. I'm, I'm just sitting here in shock. I mean, a date a point. date is an appointment. I don't want to be with anybody. I have to make an appointment to see. Really? So exactly. how, how many people are seeing you uh, on unscheduled appearances? You just show up at their house? How does this work? I, I would like to say that in all the years that I've dated my boyfriend, I have never once showed up at his house without him knowing I was going, ever. Because I just think that's very rude. Maybe he's on another date. Oh, well, that's the trust issue part there, you know. But I'm... if he doesn't want me there, I'm not going to go. And I wouldn't want him to show up at my house either without being announced. Yes. So I'm glad that you didn't have to uh, spend a boring evening with that lady. Oh, don't worry. I, <laughs> I, 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 the negotiations have ended at this point. Great. All yeah. right, Tom, thanks for talking to me. Thank you, Karen. Have a good day. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Connie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. This is my first time calling. Thank you. I love your show. It's awesome. Well, I think from the woman's perspective, well, from my perspective, I'll just say that because I think a little bit differently from a lot of my girlfriends, but I, I personally wouldn't mind making an appointment. I don't think that guy, the first caller, was really making a valid point. I mean, it's like you just choose a day and roll with it because me personally, I don't date. I'm not in a relationship. I have a lot of guys that run away from me because of what I do. Like, I'm very artistic. I'm a photographer. I'm a business owner. And my passions and my dreams are much more... Um, like important than just watching TV or just cuddling up on a couch. Like I would rather do things together, travel together, be a go getter. I'm a go getter kind of person, so I would be the one to open up my scheduler <laughs> and say, "Well, what day would you like to go out? Let's put it on the schedule. Let's put a time." That's what I would do. I don't think it's that much of a big deal. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I'm giving you the ultimate option. I'm saying here is every free day on my schedule. Pick one. Right, yeah. Well, I don't know. I just think she wanted to. I think at first, like you said, if she was going to pick a day, she would have. But then I don't know what made her draw back or what made her think like, oh, maybe she thought you would be controlling over her or something. Or maybe she thought, I don't know, that you would have the upper hand and she wanted to try and have the upper hand by, you know, saying what day she's not available or what day she would be available, you know. I don't know. I think a lot of women, well, I don't know. I mean, I, again, I don't date. I'm not in a relationship. But I do know that that's something that I struggle with, uh, deciding to date or deciding to be in a relationship because I would rather be on stage speaking or I would rather be in the studio all night writing a song or something. <laughs> that's what I would rather do. And I, I know a, a famous singer that just got a divorce because her husband couldn't handle her schedule and, you know, like everything that you do. So it's, it's interesting. I think it goes both ways. Well, fr frankly, I, I've really begun to think that people who are in the entertainment industry, and I consider myself one of them, um, you really can't satisfy the vast majority of people in a relationship because yeah. you get more attention than they get. You usually make more money than they do. Uh, there's more demands on your time than there are on their time. Yeah. And so I really would prefer to see people who can fit me into their schedule when I can fit them into my schedule. And if it works as a relationship, well, we'll look at that. But in the meantime, the, the reality is this is my life, and it's not changing anytime soon. Yeah, it's very true. And, I mean, whether you get in the relationship with someone or you marry that person, you know what you're marrying. If that person traveled before you got with them, you can't expect them to not travel, like, after you get with them or after you marry them. More than one woman, Connie, more than one woman, uh, once she got under the hood with me, um, asked me when I was going to retire. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. I think a lot of things is through conditioning of society and just how we think. You we know what my response was to one of them? Um, you, know, you know, my response was when she asked me if I was going to retire, it was long after you're gone. What did she say? I pretty much put the issue to rest. Oh, wow. 
it's, it's interesting. I think we have to uh, kind of de-brainwash ourselves and just take it each person at a time and learn to just think how we think, you know. And I, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting debate, though. I agree with you, and I thank you for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tell me up front, you just want to have sex with me. You don't want a relationship. You don't want anything. You want to call me up maybe once a week, next week, whatever. Get a little, and we go our separate ways. Fine. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom All right. <laughs> Imagine being told, what kind of loser do you think I am? Imagine being told, I don't want to date anyone when I have to make an appointment. What is a date but an appointment? For God's sake, Todd on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going, man? Great. <laughs> well, let's see. I think this woman needs to look in the mirror and see what a loser really looks like because uh, she's dealing with Tom Likas. Your life is one big schedule, you know, and you've got to schedule her in. It's only right. I don't know. I think she wants to be uh, Miss Important and uh, for you to just drop everything and, and for her, and, and she's out of her mind. But it's crazy. I mean, this is a date. This is not... Uh... This is not Mrs. Tom Likas here. This is a date. It's a date. If anything, she uh, she should be dropping her schedule for you. You know, I mean, uh, she's the lucky one here, not not the other way around. And that's not all she should be dropping for me. <laughs> You're damn right. Trust me, right now she's kicking herself in the ass. <laughs> Thank you for that talk. Uh... Right on, Tom. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Autumn, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I love you, Daddy. I love you. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> I just had to tell you how right you are. You don't even know. You're always so right, right on it. First of all, dating is not even an important issue in life. I don't understand uh, what that girl's problem is. You date like the biggest freaks ever. Uh, <laughs> you think? I just want to, <laughs> I just want to know well, where do you find these girls? Oh, you find them all over, dear. I mean, the way anyone else finds girls, you know? <laughs> I know. That's, that's, that's crazy. How do I get out of here? Okay, let me go in that room. Sorry. <laughs> <I didn't... laughs> you got problems over there? No, I just told everybody I'm excited about being on the radio with you. I love you to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so turned on right now. They locked me in this room by myself so I could talk to you. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tom, I can't believe I'm on the air with you. But, yeah, I just had to let you know how right you always are. You're the only real man out there. I've never heard such a real man in my life. It turns me on like crazy. It makes me not even want to date any other guys out there because... They're nothing like you. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. I mean, I can boost your ego, I guess. Whatever. Really? Even what, what, you, what, big what, one, what, what do you look like, dear? <laughs> um, I'm about five six, one fifteen. I'm twenty years old. I'm your unborn wife. <laughs> really? Yeah. You got and nice, I'm Italian. You're Italian, so you get a nice set of cans. And my what? Have you got a nice set of cans? Can I say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice butt. Really. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Ask all these guys. Do I have a nice set? Yes, she does. <laughs> yeah, see that? You, now, you see, you'd, you'd make an appointment to see me, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. It, Actually, I'd be honored. Is that so? Wow. Amazing. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Hi, Tom? Uh, you have to get off the speakerphone, as Dean told you. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is not for your friends to listen on the speakerphone. You have to pick up the phone or I'm going to hang up. So if you're not picking up, I'm going to hang up right now. Hey, Tom, I just want to know why you think you're so hot that someone would actually have to make an appointment with you. Because you have to make an appointment with everybody to go on a date. That's what a date is. Well, do you ever plan on marrying or getting another wife or anything? What's the difference? The difference is, wouldn't you make her feel like, you know, she's important enough to, you know, not have to be in your schedule or whatever? You Everything call. is in everybody's schedule. How many people say, uh, who needs a date? Just show up at my place anytime. No, but wouldn't you at least not make her feel like she has to get on a list to see Tom Likens, right? By the way, my name is not Tom Likens. And second of all... What is your name? Well, if if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you, okay? But by the by, the, I'm telling you also that there is the person out there where you don't have to make an appointment to see them. No, I I understand. I get the point. Yeah, you got to make a date, whatever. But, but I, you I, see, what this is all about is somebody who's upset that I have a life. No, I don't. I don't think. So. And, and someone who's used to dating God. losers who have. Let's see what dates we have available: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, well, Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday Saturday, Sunday. I only have days that end in Y. Okay, but you're saying that uh, basically she's a loser because she wouldn't. No, I'm saying I'm saying she must date losers if if she's dating people who have an unlimited calendar and they can take a, have a date any night of the week, any week of the year. You're right; they are losers if they if they can date any time. But where I feel like you're wrong at is you're you're basically telling her, you know, that she's a loser because she won't work around your schedule. Everybody works around everybody else's schedule. That's how it works. By the way, schedule? by the way, she had just told me she's not available weekdays. Isn't that working around her schedule? She told you that? Yes, she did. And I said that on the air. So you weren't paying any attention. So I'm supposed to work around her schedule, but she's not supposed to work around mine. No, no, that's not what I was saying. I, I'm just saying, were you considering, you know, you two compromising? I mean, don't you think you would want to settle down one day, right? Don't you want to? It doesn't mean, I, I'm sorry. I, here's one place I'm not compromising on my career. If I have no, business yeah, to do, I'm not compromising on it, period. Anybody who doesn't like it, she's talking to the wrong guy. I didn't become successful by saying, oh, what the hell? Forget about that dinner I'm having with clients on Friday. I'll see you instead. I didn't get here by doing that. Well, yeah, I, I don't think you should compromise. Losers career, do I that. you're ever going to find someone who... I'm not really looking for really anybody. Well, I'm, just, gonna I'm not looking. You don't understand. I get. You must be a new listener. I, I am, actually. All right, well, I'm not looking for anyone. Well, why are you dating then? To get laid, like every man out so there. Somebody on the corner for that? I don't need to. There's plenty of women, plenty of women giving it away for free. I don't. I don't need to pay a penny. So, so why are you making a date with her? I don't understand. Because you can go get someone on the corner. They're ready anytime. Because again, I don't have to pay. Why are you making a date with her then? Because there's not a woman out there where you'd say, hi, nice meeting you. Let's just go have sex. There's no way. Do you know any women like that? Do you? Can you hear a word I'm saying? Are you holding the phone upside down and talking to it like a microphone? I'm, I'm having a conversation with you, and you're not responding to anything I'm saying. I am responding. I you can't so hear me. You're just mad because she oh, turned you down. I am not mad. I am not mad at all. As a matter of fact, it makes things a lot easier. No more work for me. Well, you just sound pissed because she wouldn't deal with you. and that's I don't care. You, you know what, Stephanie? There, there's ten more where this came from. Believe me. So why are you so mad that she wouldn't fit in your schedule? It's a show topic, dear. Okay. Don't you understand? Okay. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about something that somebody said that was completely outrageous. That's all it is. Yeah, but maybe you just met your match. She wasn't willing oh, to Oh, yes, it. met my match. Darling, if I need her. someone to come in from the bullpen and, and pitch a little relief, believe Believe me, I've got them. So There's just, no problem. So you basically want some woman that's just going to fall to your knees and do everything you want, No, right? I really don't. As a matter of fact, all I care about is if you've got a free night and I've got a free night, let's get together. And if not, we'll get together when well, we you do. Say that. You said, well, my schedule works like this in my career and what I'm doing. And but but, 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 but again, she had the choice of days from the days I had free. Pick any of the days I have free. 
I, I just think that was very shallow of you. There's nothing shallow about that. I gave her a list of days that I'm free. Pick any one of them. Wait, are you telling me I should cancel business engagements? No, what I'm I should cancel prior engagements? That doesn't sound like you're interested. What in other way is there around it? Will hey, you tell me I'm what other way? I want you to tell me what ways there are around that. Tell me what you ways. Said it a lot nicer. She's a woman. Oh, how would you say? How would you say this? How would you say this? I want to hear this. How would you say it? That's your job to find out. Oh, well, you can't. You see, that's my point. You can't. There is no other way to say this. There when somebody no says, when somebody says, says when here, somebody says, I, I'm not available weekdays, I throw up my hands. I say, all right, here's the list of available dates. Pick a date. I don't think so. That's oh, yes, so I think so. I don't really. By the way, people. I don't. You know, you know what? I really don't care. I, I really don't care. And I don't, how would you know what a lady speaks like anyway? You in your mouth. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Madhu on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I started listening to your show six months ago, and ever since, I fell in love with the way you talk. This is how I feel, too. And I really appreciate the way you speak. You speak your mind. And lot, not a lot of Americans speak like that. And um, regarding today's uh, issue, I just put the TV radio on and I heard uh, from, what, from what you said. I think you are always right. Um, there is no need for anybody to get upset when they say they're busy or when, when she says uh, to pick a date or whatever. I mean... You, you must be rich or not, but the thing is, uh, they should respect uh, your wish. And she, you, I mean, I think you're right. Oh, I, I, again, I don't know what else I can do if I if somebody says to me, "I'm not available weekdays." That's it. Oh, <laughs> so I, okay, here's the list of days I have. Pick any day you like. What more can you do? And, and I, I don't want to be with anybody where I have to make an appointment. What, what, are you kidding me? What is a date but an appointment? I think she's like any other American girl um, who lives in L.A. who wants to have attention and who wants guys to be after her. And that's what I believe. Um, and I worked in a mortgage industry before, and a lot of women I work with, they were um, trying to dress in, in a slutty way, and then they try to attract men, and they try to give so much attitude just the way you told. And then uh, and the, I, I hear men talking so bad about them behind the back. And... I'm married, so I, they talk to me back, all these things. I'm from India, and for me, all this is new. And coming to Los Angeles is a uh, big change and big shock for me because pretty much a lot of women I see, they only want rich guys, and they only want to have such high circle, and they show so much attitude. And when they live in such conditions where to go to date with all rich people and then show attitude, and you speak so well that, it's always like I relate uh, your words to the workplace I worked with, and I really appreciate you speaking like that because I speak like that, and I just tell them on my, I mean, on the face, and they laugh at it. That's it. I love that. And uh, Tom, I really appreciate your um, show, and uh, please keep it up, and uh, God bless you. Thank you so much for the call. Look at that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Angie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Angie. Gosh, so good to talk to you. Um, you know, I was just calling in because some of these uh, girls that are calling into your show, um, you know, I, I was just thinking, gosh, you know, what kind of girl would want to date a guy who didn't have a schedule, you know? So um, to me, dating a guy that is busy, has a job, is a multimillionaire, is the way to go, okay? This chick is really over her head, and any girls who call in, especially like the last second caller that called in, she sounded like a heifer, okay? And she probably dates losers that don't have a job, and anytime she calls them, say, yeah, let's go out. So this broad that, that you're talking about, Tom, the best thing to do is to dump her, okay? And you need to get 
with a hot chick. I love the hot chick idea. The Tom Likas Show.